Hello everyone, Jeroz Goskamp here from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to talk about how to make the perfect steering angle. Uh, as you can see here you, I have my i14-2 Infinity Touring Car and in the next few minutes I want to show you and explain to you how I make the perfect steering angle and uh, I want to explain you my settings on the radio and uh, also uh, with the use of uh, the camber and the toe-in toe-out plates and the caliber how to set it up uh, in the perfect way so let's have a look so first make sure that your right height is set on uh, your race right height now we will remove the tires and put on the camber gauge you don't have to use all four you can just use the front and leave the tires on the back of the car. First set the camber and uh, standard setup is about two degrees. Camber set at two and now I will put the toe in or the toe out. Usually on a touring car, I use about 1 to 1.5 degree toe out on each wheel. Now it's set a little bit more than one, so that's absolutely perfect. Now it's time to measure the turnbuckle on the left side and the right side that they are equal. And you do it like this. So the left and the right turnbuckle has to be exactly the same length. Fairly equal. Now make sure that the servo linkage is in a 90 degree angle with the servo horn, like this. And with the Ackerman plate remaining in the middle of the car. So now I remove the servo linkage from the Ackerman plate and the steering moves freely. And now I am gonna adjust the maximum steering angle by degrees. By screwing the set screw in, you will decrease the steering angle and by taking it slightly out, you can increase the steering angle. Now I'm gonna set it on about 27 degrees left and right. Now it's 26. I will open the set screw a little bit. Now it's almost 27. I will do the same on the to the right side. This is 28. I'm gonna close the set screw a little bit. And now also the right side is about 27 degrees. So how to set up on your radio the steering angle. Go to uh, setup and make sure that the steering left right already 100%. Then go to setup and your EPA and you can see left is 109 and right is 123. This number not have to be equal as long as it's equal on the car. So adjust it. So the set screw just touch or almost touch the caster block. So the steering angle now is set to 27 degrees. The only thing you have to do now is turn on the radio, turn on the car. So now adjust the steering angle on the radio that the set screw don't touch, just touch the caster block. So make sure with the steering that the set screw barely touch the caster block. So it's not binding, it has to be just free that it can do this. Also set the same on the other side. Don't have to, you don't want this to bind, it barely touch the caster block. Thank you for watching my video again. I hope this was helpful and see you next time.